I couldn't wait to learn how to drive. It was my first step toward independence. The coolness of driving was just within my reach. I practiced every chance that I got. I knew I was ready. I had aced my learner's permit. I knew the rules. I knew all the road signs. I even had my eye on a spiffy little car. Every time that mom or dad was going out for an errand, I volunteered to come and drive. And when they handed me the keys, well, again, I knew I was ready. My parents let me drive them around to get as much practice as possible. I felt confident that I would ace my test. Whenever my parents had asked if I thought I was ready, I felt like I would explode. Of course I'm ready, I would tell them. Seriously, it felt like I'd been driving forever. I just needed my license, and then I would be free to come and go and not need anyone to go with me. Independence would be mine. Careful, my dad would say. Don't get too confident. Driving is a big responsibility. I know, Dad, I would respond. I know the rules of the road. I know all the signs. I I know everything. I know I'm ready. Nobody knows everything. Dad said, smiling, even you. I didn't mean that I know everything, I said. I just meant that I know everything I should know to drive. See, it's always good to clarify your point when you're discussing with a parent. You don't know everything about driving either, Dad said. And remember, knowledge isn't wisdom. There is more to driving than just knowing the rules. He was laughing now. Whatever, I said. Dad loved to remind his kids that we were kids. He still does, no matter how old we get. I think he always will. I was sure that I was ready to go for my license. I did know all the rules. I was obsessive about following rules. I practiced I practiced every opportunity that I had. I felt comfortable in the driver's seat. I was ready. I was all set. I was sure that I knew all I needed to know. And one afternoon, a few days later, Dad said that he needed to go to the hardware shop, so naturally, I grabbed the keys. I'm driving there, Dad said, taking the keys back from me. You can drive home. Whatever, I said, rolling my eyes. Dad never wanted me to drive anywhere. He had frequently told me that he couldn't wait for me to drive so that I could drive him around, but now he wanted to drive? I got into the passenger seat. And as dad drove along, it occurred to me that I didn't know where we were going. I was not familiar with this route. Dad said that we were going to the old hardware shop that he liked better than the big store, and that made sense. Mom and dad both preferred to shop small, but this was a roundabout way of getting there. How would I remember how to get home? No way I was going to ask dad. That was why he wanted to drive, to show me that he was wiser than I was. Whatever, I wasn't going to ask him for directions. That'd show him. I'd figure it out on my own. It took forever to get to the shop. It seemed like it anyway. But once at the shop, we found what Dad was looking for in no time. I didn't see why we had to drive so long to find one little thing. Oh well, I would get to drive home and I would show him. When we got in the car, Dad said, let's take the back way home. It's shorter, and there will be less traffic. That sounded like a great idea, and I knew that way back well. As we drove along, I noticed signs for roads closed ahead. I hadn't known that they were working on the road, but figured our turn would come before it was closed. And Dad didn't seem bothered. In fact, he seemed very relaxed, just odd. He normally hated it when a road was closed. Typically, he would mumble and roll his eyes as soon as he saw the sign. Probably was because I was driving. I mean, I I got it. A road closure is less annoying when you're the passenger. So I kept going. Down the hill, the road was blocked off. There were barriers and signs that read local traffic only. Darn, I said. We had come this far just to have to turn around and go all the way back. Oh well, I was prepared to execute a perfect three-point turn. Just go through it, Dad said. But the road is closed, I said. Not on a Saturday, Dad said. No one is working there. It's fine. 
Okay. I shrugged and drove through the barriers. Why is the road closed? Dad asked. It's fine. They must be expanding the road on the other side or something. I had to agree. The road seems fine to drive on. A few construction trucks were parked around and I could see where they had been working on the other side of the road, but there was nobody there working. I drove along, just happy to be driving, and then I saw the flashing lights. I pulled over to the side of the road as I was supposed to let the cop car pass, and then he pulled over behind me. He got out of the car and asked for my license and registration. I explained to him that I was a student, and I handed over my permit card. Is everything okay? I asked. Fine. Have you been drinking or taking any other substances? That was an odd question. No, I haven't, I replied. Do you live here? No. Why were you driving on this road? Did you not see signs and barricades? Um, what should I say? My mind was blank. I looked at Dad. He, he just sat there. He should tell the cop that I was just following his directions. But Dad didn't say anything. Is there a, a reason why you went through the construction signs? Fine. If that's how Dad wanted it. My dad told me to? It was true, but it sounded lame, even to me. The cop looked at my dad. Now he's going to get it, I thought. Dad just shrugged and smiled. You didn't have to do it, I said. The cop looked at me and wrote something in his notebook. He was going to give dad a ticket. <laughs> he signed whatever it was and then handed it to me. I'm letting you off with a written warning. Please sign here to acknowledge that you have read this and agree. I took the note and started to hand it to my dad. No, that's for you to sign, he said. Me? But I was just doing as I was told. But he said it was fine, I said, indicating my dad with my thumb. He, he told me to do it. He should get the ticket or warning or whatever it was. Yep, he may have, the cop said. But you were the one behind the wheel. It was your decision. Because you made that choice, you're getting the written warning and not your father. If he had been behind the wheel, I would have given him a citation. You are getting a written warning, and that is a gift. I signed the warning, and I handed it back to the cop who gave me a copy. I hope you take signs a little more seriously and think for yourself in the future. Please, drive carefully. And with that, the cop got back in his car and drove off. I looked at my dad. I was really upset. Sure, I got lucky because I'd gotten off with only a written warning, but still, my name would be on this officer's list that he must keep somewhere of people that he had warned. He was going to keep his eye out for me now. And Dad, he was just smiling at me. Let's go home, he said. Wait, what? Dad, you just got me in trouble. Don't you have anything to say? I was expecting at least an apology, something. Knowledge isn't wisdom, Dad said, smiling. There's more to driving than just knowing the rules. You have to have wisdom to follow the rules. You, you tricked me, I said. You told me it was fine. I taught you, Dad said. You chose to do what I said or follow the rules. I was still mad at Dad, but I had to admit, he was right. And that made me even more annoyed. We drove home in silence. As an adult, I completely understand what my dad did. And I like to think that I will be able to teach my kid a similar lesson about the difference between knowledge and wisdom. <laughs>